more. It's tomasta. <laughs> it's tomasta. Yeah, this is more delicious. Yeah, mm. it, it, but nothing's more delicious than a real coconut. Mm. Like, what? How? How different would life be if in Korea they had coconuts? <laughs> like, you go to the mountain and you can just grab a coconut and just. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Did you ever try mango steam? Mm, yeah, yeah, I really love mango steam. Yeah. It's, it looks like a purple, yeah, yeah. really hard. And then it's it, when you peel off, it goes your hand, but it's really delicious. It tastes mm. like a really soft marshmallow because mm. it's white and it's mm-hmm. very soft. And, mm. I, and I, when I, I went to Thailand, I and had a juicy. Fruit. Oh my god, I was like, this is amazing because I love mangoes. That was my mm. number one thing. But then after having mango steam, I was like, mm. that's amazing. one of my favorite. Yeah. Mm. And then I or uh, my girlfriend ordered some mm-hmm. from online. Mm-hmm. Mango steam. Yeah, but mm. it's all frozen. Mm. It's not the same, like you know, original natural yeah. style. So I was a little bit disappointed. Yeah, and also y- um, you shouldn't um, put mango steam at the fridge because. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. That's because why. you um, you should keep it on the, um, I mean like not in the fridge, the norm- normal. Room temperature. Yeah room temperature because it it's from the hot country mm. so yeah you you shouldn't have to um keep it in the fridge w- will i die if i do that <laughs> no okay thank god <laughs> you know you can die from that <laughs> okay anyways we're we're online oh really yeah oh. we're just talking <laughs> <laughs> oh. i love doing that but it's just pre-talking we're just kind of relaxing mm-hmm. getting into things and stuff for those people who don't know, I love to drink coconut water. Usually, people who come by here, I o- always give them a can. I'm not sponsored by these people, but I have to say that I've been drinking. Was it Tascam? No, that's that's the name of my of my electronic device. No, it's Tasco, not Tabasco. Tasco, T A S C O, and it's coconut juice with pulp. You need the stuff with the pulp. The one I got is a 500 milliliter, not the 250 baby can. You need the big can. And uh, I just drink one of those in the morning, and boom, I'm ready to wake up and do my work. So hopefully one day they can sponsor. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Coconut juice. Oh, if only. Oh, okay. Anyways. It's really delicious. Let's start the show. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> journey i am your host today wilfred lee and here i am with a very very special young lady <laughs> her name is cho or che cho um um, um M- sanyang sanyang is my name sanyang yeah and then but you can call me cho cho, cho is my family name yes mm-hmm. so we have sanyang cho mm-hmm. aka the inner portrait artist <laughs> Thank you for coming today. Thank you yeah. for inviting me. Oh, my, my pleasure. Mm-hmm. We were talking about this for a while. Um, we, uh, how did we meet? We met at the Poptastic mm-hmm. event, right? Uh, have you? Did you ever go there before to that place? No. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was in it was in Hongdae, right? Mm-hmm. It was in the Creative Eye Bar. Ah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was your first time too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you think of that place? It was um, classic Hongdae style. Classic Hongdae style, <laughs> mm. yes, very true. Mm. And uh, it was it was really interesting. It was doing ca- kind of like a fundraiser for Soul Players, mm-hmm. and they did some performances. Had some really good music too. Yeah, they had really really good music. And then the place was the just just right size for the um, party. Yeah, because yeah, it not too huge, not too small. Yeah, it was like Goldilocks. Yeah, it, was perfect. it was just perfect and stuff. And uh, everyone was dressing up in 60s outfits. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. one guy dressed like Andy Warhol. Oh, oh yeah, I saw. Like <laughs> uh, Jessica Dell, she mm-hmm. wore a great wig and a nice get up. Jessica, mm-hmm. you rock, you're a great singer. And some really good Korean bands as well. Mm. And so we were sharing a one room, 
like one space, but we can see everything. We had a really good seat. We yeah. could sit down all day, mm -hmm. and then we had the perfect view of seeing uh, the band playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was really great. And oh yeah, yeah, this hearing music and we are drawing. Yeah, drawing. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, on on one side, I was doing caricature, mm -hmm. but you were doing inner portrait yep. artist, yeah, mm -hmm. artist work. And I actually I remember seeing your work on the internet a long time ago, like one year really? ago. Yeah, I forget where, really? but I remember seeing your your work somewhere oh. before, and then I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, inner portrait. And mm -hmm. uh, but I was like, I've never m met this person. And then finally, I got the opportunity. Hey, you want to go to Poptastic and do caricature? There's going to be another person there doing mm. it. And I was like, oh, oh. oh, okay, sure. It's really 신기하다. What, 신기하다. what do you call in English? Very 운명? Oh, maybe. It's <laughs> like um, kismet, coincidence, mm -hmm. serendipity. The mm -hmm. Serendipity ha is the word that Happy Kevin. coincidence. A happy coincidence. Mm -hmm, yeah, it was happy. Mm -hmm. It was a happy time. So then uh, we were just drawing uh, side by side. Um, like I said, doing caricature, she was doing inner portrait, and uh, I found it really interesting. We had a really great talk. We talked about a lot of uh, different things. We talked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, so, that's, so, that's. so we were talking about different things, and for for myself, you know, uh, doing caricature, it's always about uh, looking at the person, you know, and maybe within a five minute to ten minute span, you want to um, draw what you see, but exaggerate a little bit more. And the more you exaggerate, the more truth you can show about the person. But uh, for inner portrait, it's a little bit different, right? Yeah. Can you explain to people w how exactly do you do inner portrait art? Um, art? Um, if someone gives me one word that describes them best, and then I ask them, why did you pick this word for mm -hmm. yourself? Or uh, um, have we had a short conversation with that word, and then I express it to the short um, condensed drawing and also poetry behind the um, drawing mm. so that's I call inner portrait inner portrait mm -hmm. and um, how d how did you start doing this um, actually um, I started my artist job um, as um, can I show this yes um, she's showing one of her books uh -huh. yeah this is one of my favorite. I do uh, something like this, and well, this we'll is my drawing. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. This is my drawing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that'll be good. And then this is person, and uh, this is uh, um, the pr title of this drawing is Hungry and Full. See if you see mm -hmm. it closer. Um, <laughs> um, if you see it this side, um, yeah. person looks hungry, uh, but. Um, other side, a person looks f very full. Wow. So um, I do something like this drawing and also plus poetry. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, and then after my first book came, um, I should drawing, I should draw and uh, write more. Yeah. But I didn't want um, stuck in my room alone and just doing my job. Um, I didn't want that. I did want to communicate with people, so mm. um, so I thought, how can I communicate with people and also create something? So yeah. that's how I started in a portrait. So it, I I asked them, give me one word, and then I express it to the um, drawing and also poetry, like like the first job I did, the first first work I did. Right. Yeah. So that's how and I started. And you know, um, uh, by the way, the <laughs> the book that we were looking at is called big holes in my heart bigger than the body <laughs> it's this little cute little book here and um it was uh after going through it i i was so amazed it was i was like wow because mm -hmm. um i love how you're able to make an image mm -hmm. that looks so simple <laughs> but once you once you put the combination of words together mm -hmm. and stuff it's like wow it's just for example, hungry full, <laughs> right? It's so simple, but it's uh, sometimes the most um, complicated things or the most deep things look simple, you know, at the surface. Mm. But um, the stuff, the stuff you have here is every single picture is completely different, and every time when you talk to somebody, mm -hmm. you always have a completely different picture. 
right? <laughs> so how, how are you able to do that? For example, like um, when you talk to the person, do you mm -hmm. immediately get an, uh, an idea and you start drawing away or? I mean, when, you, when I do inner portrait? Yeah, like doing live portrait. Mm, I don't know how I do that, but uh, for me, it's more, um, um, it's sure that um, the, the simple drawing is more easy for me and, that, um, and that also the short poetry is mm -hmm. easy for me. So, um, I don't know he, how it comes, but I think it's like, um, um, like how do you say, ponyok is trans Trans translation to the mm -hmm. drawing and also poetry. So mm -hmm. because I asked them why did they pick that pick that word, and then I hear their story, mm -hmm. and then I um, translate mm -hmm. into the drawing and also the poetry. So I I think actually I'm not doing that much uh, my job my job is translating mm -hmm. it into the art mm -hmm. work so um, yeah the most of the things is the people who came does mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, and uh, it's what was really interesting you know after looking how you worked and reading uh, your book is um, when you do the drawing it's mm -hmm. um, it's almost very how can I say therapeutic Therapeutic process for the person who gets the drawing. Ah, done. you saw what uh, what I draw that day. Yeah, yeah, sure. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. you remember some? Ah. I was looking at your stuff, but um, just just how you the process that like ah. everything you do is like. Tell me a word that best describes you, and yeah. then talking to them, you get to know. About, you're having a conversation first, which, yeah. is, which is amazing. <laughs> and then afterwards, mm -hmm. you know, you, you do that drawing, and then af and then from there, it's um. Yeah. Um, it, the the connection with that mm -hmm. person is mm -hmm. much more deeper mm. than just doing a, a portrait. Yeah, I, think. I really want to con concentrate them uh, on them and then the have a deep talk with them because mm. I really like to communicate. And also, one thing I want to do from this work is, you know, that in Seoul people mm. are really, really busy. Yeah. So they don't have any time to think about themselves, mm -hmm. and also they don't have time to what um, think about what they like or something like that so mm -hmm. um, while you think about yourself and then pick up the one word describes you the best and then you have time to think about yourself mm -hmm. and then and then I translate it <laughs> into the drawing and also poetry and then they keep it to the um, to their home mm -hmm. and then they can um, keep keep on thinking about themselves so I think some someone's yeah, someone also tells me, told me that it's a little bit therapy-like. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's why, because inner portrait gives me, gives you, um, to time to think about yourself. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I was talking to the caricature artist Nate mm -hmm. uh, today earlier today, mm -hmm. and sometimes when people get a caricature, mm -hmm. they don't know what to expect. If you have a really good caricature artist, but mm -hmm. he does really, really crazy. Um, exaggeration mm -hmm. it's like sometimes wow. it's very how can I say devastating to the person it's like oh my god is this what it looked like <laughs> you know and then they feel like they have to get therapy you know it's, it's the complete opposite you mm -hmm. you help them sometimes but with caricature it's um, the feeling is completely different so yeah so uh, so well yeah while we were working together um, doing watching you do all your work and the process of you asking one word that describes them what is uh, one word to describe yourself? <laughs> Did you ever try making your own inner portrait? Yeah, actually, I do many times. That's that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think all maybe it's also all is all of my work is my inner portrait maybe. And this is true. Yeah, and uh, I don't know the word um, changes every time. Mm. And um. I don't know. Now it's a little bit cold. <laughs> Can I um, get my coat? Okay, she's oh, gonna get sorry. her jacket. I'm sorry, people. I've been saving money on my heater, so uh, that's just it is what it is. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, and uh, a, a lot of the stuff it feels a little bit like um, mm -hmm. very zen. Zen. What zen. is it? Z e n zen. Mm -hmm. Like. How can I say? Like it feels like a little mm -hmm. bit like a 
like Buddhism influence. Mm. Mm. You know, it's like very minimal. Ah. But yeah, I because maybe it's see. because my I'm Asi- Asian. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. And mm, and also um this one was my first book, but this one is my um the recent book mm-hmm. and then it the my my drawing have been changed to the as you say it's like um you mean that it's like religion <laughs> or something? I don't know, it's more bright. Yeah, it is more bright, but I mean Zen is just like a how can I say it? like a characteristic characteristic of ah. um how it feels. Like ah. it feels it it feels uh, sometimes spiritual, mm-hmm. but it's not religious. Mm. You know, like it's like wow, it. I, I I it's um, clear in your mind. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, either, I don't <laughs> know he, uh, how it looks. Yeah. I just do what I want to do. Want to and I want so to do. Fr- from this point on, how mm-hmm. long have you been doing inner portrait? Art? Four years. Four years. It's almost four years. And um, over. F- the span of four years, how mm-hmm. many people have you drawn? Over two thousand of people. 2000 over two thousand uh-huh. people. Uh-huh. Think about that. She's she's been drawing over two thousand people, <laughs> and it's one of the craziest. You know, that's what I like about drawing in live is because um, people approach you, uh-huh. and uh, to take a picture is one thing. You can capture a moment right away. But whenever you're, you're drawing, you're always uh, experiencing a moment together with a person. It's very slow. It's, you have to be patient. And uh, people are always moving like this. And you're not trying to get one image. You're just trying to get the overall feeling. Mm. You know, sometimes when you see a person who does a portrait for the first time, like, don't move, don't move. You moved your arm. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. But sometimes when they're moving, you just let them be free. And then you can kind of get their overall mm. impression. And yeah, and I guess you know what you do is a little bit more deeper, <laughs> the, the inner, the inner parts. So, and, and uh, mm-hmm. maybe for artists, you know, uh, in terms of the material that you use, mm-hmm. what material do you like to use? Um, I like a col- color pencils and the uh, ballpoint pen, just ballpoint pen. black, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because it's very comfortable to use, and then also doesn't doesn't what is it? make marks on my fingers yeah uh, or yeah like, like panty like, sorry th- not like painting where mm-hmm. it gets really mm-hmm. messy and stuff mm-hmm. it's easy to bring yeah it's mm-hmm. easy to bring very cool so how about let's check out your website okay and then we can talk over some stuff so and um this, and this one is my inner port this one here okay no. let's, is it in um, here too um maybe okay well uh th- so the first book that she had over here is um like we said before Big holes in my heart, bigger than a body. <laughs> okay, and the the one after she had over here is called Impromptu Inner Portrait. Okay, but we're gonna show you her website, so okay. uh, let's just check it out over here. Okay. So if you check out her website, the site name is chosunyoung.com. C H O S U N Y O U N G dot com. Uh, later, I'm gonna put a link mm-hmm. so people can just check it out directly. And over here, you can see the the title of the of the blue book, the impromptu in a portrait. Is there any pictures in here too? Um, yeah. Um, um. What do you want to? Uh. Do you, well, we could talk about this as well. Oh, this is the place wha- where I shared in a portrait. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you went to a couple places here. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can cl- you click. Mm-hmm. It will be bigger. So just this one, uh, I can. Well, I'll just read to you what it says. Mm-hmm. Uh, inner portrait has been so far. <laughs> Over four years have passed since the inner portrait project has begun. <laughs> Over two thousand <laughs> inner portraits have were drawn in over a hundred different places, including streets of Seoul, New York City, race courses, parties, parks, hospitals, film festivals, jazz festivals, and military bases. Inner portrait of a boy who said that he is like a rainbow and can only be seen after the rain. In a portrait of a man who changed his name and wanted to celebrate a new start in his life. In a portrait of a young student who shyly handed over a drink and hid from the sight. In a portrait of a girl from an exotic country who shed tears as she spoke of her mother. The faces that usually swept past you in a hurry becomes a dear friend to the artist after 10 minutes of inner portrait. 
Each portrait is held dearly with the artist's heart, each with a special place of their own. And I think that really perfectly sums it up. <laughs> yeah, and th th what's great, you, um, you meet people from all over, all different ages, right? Um, uh, ages. Yeah, yeah. different mm -hmm. ages. For the uh, the people that you met, was um, was there any type of special experience you had before mm -hmm. with any drawing, like you like for example you met um, mm -hmm. like one lady or you know after talking with her you you know maybe cry something like that yeah like yeah sometimes it happens yeah yeah but um, but but I think um. um there's so many things happen, but um, I think I learned from them. It's a, for example, that the inner um, that I s well, the inner portrait of a boy who said that he is like a rainbow, and then yeah, to and then always be yeah, seen after the rain. Yeah, he was like eight years old, mm. and then um, he picked up the word for uh, the rainbow for his himself, and then um, actually in that age. Um, the boy and the girl, uh, girls usually picks the word because they like it, mm -hmm. or just for the just for s simple reason. Mm -hmm. But when I ask him, "Do you like it?" or uh, d "Did you pick the word because it is pretty?" or I asked that mm -hmm. I, I asked him, and then mm -hmm. he answered, "No, um, the rainbow only seems after the rain." And then the and and, and I asked, "So you are like that? You are not?" Um, your mind is not thin every time, and mm. then he he said yes, and then my mind I show my mind to the people who really uh, who who I really like, mm. and then the I was really surprised because the he's only eight years old and wow. he thinks like that, yeah. and then yeah, and then something like that, and then the um yeah, and there was ten year boy, ten years old boy. Ten year old boy, ten year old boy. Yeah. <laughs> and um, um, he his uh, his word was what is incomplete. Incomplete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his word was that, and then um, I asked, so why did you pick this word? And then he said, um, I think I'm not I'm not complete completed mm. yet. Mm -hmm. And then so I um, asked. So, um, so when do you think you will be complete? Mm -hmm. So how can you be complete? And then I asked him, and then he answered, "Nobody is complete, I think." And then, um, but you you just feeling yourself more and more. Mm -hmm. Nobody is complete. It just there is not um, there is nothing that is complete. So it's really deep thinking for that age and then who are these kids <laughs> that you meet <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. just like i am the aftermath of a rainbow and yeah. then you just walk away and you're like wait where are you going <laughs> <laughs> who are you? yeah wow. sometimes i'm really surprised or yeah yeah so i so i'm every day i'm surprised and uh, by them mm -hmm. by the people who comes so actually who uh, who gets gift from a gift is me I think uh, I, I um I become happier when I draw mm -hmm. so so I give them inner portrait but I think the what is it um um I'm the person who receives the gift yeah mm. very cool wow oh I feel like I I am kamdo <laughs> mogoso I I'm very touched Okay, let's uh, let's take another site here or, or another part. Mm -hmm. uh, what I what is this one called? Um, this is oh, what is it? Dojon. Dojon. What is in English? Muhan Dojon. Yeah, it's something like that. Dojon. Uh, uh. Mission Impossible. Mm, no, no. Um, the Infinity Challenge. Yeah, challenge, challenge. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you, Muhan Dojon. <laughs> That's how I know this word. Challenge. Yeah. Challenge. So um. He gave me challenge, and be because he challenges every time, and then even if it is, it 
um, it seems stupid mm-hmm. or it seems too huge, but he keeps challenging and challenging and chal- challenging, and it um, it it keeps me, it keeps him alive, and he's that. So I drew this, mm-hmm. um, and the poetry is like that, and th- the there is, pe- <laughs> here. yeah, 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 that okay. is his head, okay. and then the yeah the line is his body, wow. and then you see. Um, it is like stairs, mm. and then the poetry is like that, um, challenging, mm-hmm. um, yeah. um, um, big hope or small hope. Uh, small hope. Um, he doesn't care. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that it doesn't matter. He just keep challenging, keep challenging, challenging. Mm. Mm-hmm. Very so yeah. Okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. Let's let's check out some more. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, these these are pictures from an event that you did, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let, actually, let's ju- let's talk about this one. Mm-hmm. This one here. Can you d- can you explain about what what this event was and uh, what you were doing? This picture is the first time I ever tried Inu Quartet at the free market. Mm-hmm. Um, before then, um, in, in Hongdae, right? Yeah, in Hongdae. Okay. Yeah, before that day, I did Inu Quartet for my just friend or very randomly at the street or something, but. And this is the day I started in a quartet very re- regularly. Mm-hmm. Mm, yes. Yeah, so and uh, I have to say that is a very cute hat you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I uh, wanted to people recognize me, <laughs> and then. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So yeah, I wear big blue hat. Cool. Yeah, and the people came. Mm-hmm. That's the color pencils I use. So uh, you know when people come, mm-hmm. you know sometimes it takes some time for people to come mm-hmm. and be a little bit curious. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes, yeah. But once they do, mm-hmm. it's like it's usually a big group, right? That they mm-hmm. come and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like caricature, all yeah, the same. Yeah. It's the same process. Yeah, if someone tries very bravely, mm-hmm. and then the people gathers, mm-hmm. and then they see, mm-hmm. and then they try. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. And wha- what 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 are these? Things uh, um, these um, the red one and the yellow one mm-hmm. is the book, and the, right. the blue one is the not notebook mm-hmm. that I keep, um, words from the people. Yeah. Um, the uh-huh. th- yeah, they put the words in that notebook. How how many books have you made so far? Um, just two because it's very, um, some s- some sometimes I didn't bring the book <laughs> so just two yeah mm-hmm. but uh, i mean f- for yourself you made i mean mm-hmm. you made a lot of books mm-hmm. like in total mm-hmm. like ah not the the sketchbook everything every ah, every type you? of book that you made so far you've oh. made a lot oh i can uh, at the book uh three books mm-hmm. i made mm-hmm. and then the one book was published by publisher mm-hmm. and that's so it is different and so four four total wow very cool and how long does it usually take for you to make a book? For example, the big holes in my heart, oh, in the body. This took long. <laughs> yeah, it's it's your biggest book, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And so this collection of, of uh, mm-hmm. art, mm-hmm. you know, uh, how long, you know, was this collection? Um, like? the five years collection. Wow. Mm-hmm. So it's like the master collection. <laughs> um, but at that time, I didn't started uh, um art mm-hmm. as an artist mm-hmm. because, and that's the when I was at university student and mm-hmm. um, actually I didn't study art my major was journalism <laughs> and uh, mm, but mm-hmm. I really like to um, sketch, sketch and then also write mm-hmm. so I kept um, kept my diary like that mm-hmm. with the poetry and the picture small mm-hmm. picture mm-hmm. and then I when I um, when I was about to graduate, I want to gather that all. Mm-hmm. So um, I gathered it all, and then I redraw uh, because the drawing was too, um, s- uh, you know, sketch. Yeah, too rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah too rough. Mm-hmm. So I redraw it, and th- that is the collection of the university time. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! Mm-hmm. So uh, that's that's really interesting for many people who are artists. Is that you didn't start with an artist background? Mm-hmm. Like you actually studied journalism, mm-hmm. and then you took everything in a way. Everything you learn about journalism, about knowing stories of people's lives, mm-hmm. and then you translated it into into art. 
uh, right. but actually I wasn't that good student <laughs> in university so <gasps> yeah oh my gosh she tells uh, yeah. the truth now <laughs> <laughs> I attended many other classes and rather than uh, my my that real. doesn't sound bad at all <laughs> <laughs> yeah so. I attended other classes what other classes um like design I re- was really interested mm. yeah, and sure. also philosophy and the and the uh, what is it um Kimia, psychology, mm-hmm. and also sometimes to the what is architecture class. <laughs> architecture class. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And yeah, because but, but I ran away because <laughs> said, yeah, the class was too hard for me. Architecture class, so I ran. ran yeah, that is very yeah. technical and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, your yeah, your books have a com- nice combination of uh, journalism, psychology. And um, what was the other one that you said? Uh, philosophy. And philosophy, And for also sure. literature, a little bit. Korean literature. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Did you, um, what, did you have any influences? Like, what were your influences to, mm. in terms of artists, or not even artists, because maybe mm-hmm. you had other people or things mm-hmm. that influenced you to do something like mm. this? Let me see. Uh, mm, I really like um, do you know H- Hundert ba- Basser? Hundert Basser? No. I don't know his English name. Mm, I really like his picture. And then he was a uh, um, painter and also an uh, um, architect designer. Mm-hmm. And um, and the if if you see his architecture, um, it's it is really have a philosophy in there. Mm. And sh- he didn't like. Um, not nature, not nature thing. So his architecture is very um, not straight, uh, very curved, and uh, very right. nature. Uh-huh. And in the if you see it in on the on the sky, and the top of the building yeah. is filled with grass. Mm-hmm. So he thought that, and the what is horizontal? What is it? Parallel. Parallel. Uh, horizontal and Vertical. Vertical, yeah. yeah. Vertical thing is human thing, mm-hmm. but the uh, horizontal things is um, belongs to nature. So the mm-hmm. if you see the architecture on very uh, vertically, mm-hmm. um, there is architecture. But if you see it on the sky mm-hmm. and horizontally, mm-hmm. it is all about just grass, and then mm. and there is no sign of architecture. It's just mm. yeah. So so he had. He really loved nature, and 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 he, um, his building mm-hmm. has a uh, lots of different um, windows, and he thought, um, if wait if is this p- is this Antonio Gaudi? No. No. Okay. No, and wow, then the yeah, all the all the windows are different, mm-hmm. and then he thought that if the people are all different mm-hmm. in that building living, um. The window should be all different. Sure. Yeah. Makes sense. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so he he called it the um, human has right to have different window. <laughs> wow. So he, he in his architecture the windows are all different, and then I really like. Um, if you like art installation pieces too. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I like the artist who has. Very deep t- thought mm-hmm. wha- what he uh, about what he does, mm-hmm. and he really influenced me too. Um, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, that that artist it reminds me of um, a- Antonio Antonio Gaudi. Gaudi. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember when I went to Barcelona when I was very young, mm-hmm. and uh, I I saved a lot of money just to go there and to see, and I was like, wow. And a lot of very similar influences. He was primarily influenced by nature Mm -hmm. and no straight lines, everything Mm -hmm. he did. Like he used the the texture of the walls. Mm -hmm. He carved it so it looks like leaves and Mm -hmm. foliage. So it looks like it's melting, Mm -hmm. kind of a feeling. Mm -hmm. Um, Different windows, Mm -hmm. like each part of the the building was completely uh, completely different. The name of the place was called uh, Sagra- Sag- Sagrada de Familia, which means sacred family. Mm. So each part had a different story, you know, based on whoever lived there and stuff. And for him, during his time when he was building it, he never really drew any blueprints. 
mm-hmm. like he'd always have everything in his head mm-hmm. so when they were constructing and building it's like mm-hmm. what are we going to do he's like darn i know what i want just you have to follow me listen to what i'm saying don't don't be a bitch you gotta listen to what i'm gonna say so then he started building and then one day um he, bec- he, he started to become really obsessed mm-hmm. right like it was his life work that he started living inside the building as he was building it mm-hmm. Uh, one night he was walking there, and at the time there were no cars, no cars, mm-hmm. only, only horses and carts. And one guy he was driving drunk on a horse cart, and he hit him, and he died. Mm. He died instantly. Mm. And then since that day, mm-hmm. they still haven't finished building the Antonio Gaudi Sagrada de Familia because he had all the ideas in his head. So <laughs> whatever was left, they tried to figure out, well, okay, well, how can we build this up now? And but when I went there, it was mm-hmm. like in the early nineties, mm-hmm. so or close to two thousand. So, you know, they had a lot of um, donations for people to donate mm-hmm. to make the building come alive. But um, yeah, for me, like I don't, I don't really study architecture. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine it's really hard. But mm-hmm. uh, one of the things I, I learned that was kind of interesting mm-hmm. was, for example, you know when you when people talk about UFOs mm-hmm. and they see the crop circles. Mm-hmm. You know, like out in the farm, and they yeah, have those really yeah. mm. interesting designs, yeah. right? Um, those are, you know, whatever it is, if people made it or what doesn't matter, it's just the symbol behind it, right? Mm. Is a code, is a message, mm. right? And then out in South America, they have those huge, huge Inca line drawings. Mm-hmm. It's like these were made thousands of years ago, but when you're walking, mm-hmm. al- you know, around the the grounds, it just mm-hmm. looks like lines, but you can only see the full image when you're really high up like you're flying mm. right so if you're in an airplane you can see wow this is a picture of a spider mm. or this is a picture of an a- of a human mm-hmm. but it's really 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 big so um architecture you know um back in the day people would build places mm-hmm. that would match uh the astro astrological signs mm. on, on the on this in space mm. so you know if this is uh, one star sign is another star sign they would make sure that mm. the buildings were built that way mm-hmm. and some important buildings now some big buildings in new york mm-hmm. or like in the states washington dc you know they have that one big um it looks like a like a big white solid i don't know penis or whatever but uh, that the structure for that, you mm-hmm. know, is perfectly aligned with, um, you know, with with the alignment of uh, of the stars mm. and stuff. So it was like such an interesting thing, you know. Uh, uh, architecture is much more deeper. We think about um, what is inside, but it's also about the outside and how it's, you know, its place in mm. in the world and how it, you know, it uh, connects to everything else yeah, around us in the sky. They should be careful because everyone's gonna see the buildings, the buildings, and the it will influence to many people. So I yeah, guess that's why. Yeah, influence be. goes a long way. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's keep on checking out these photos. We have a lot to check out here. So, um, so how was your overall experience when you first uh, worked at the free market in Hongdae? Um, it was amazing because yeah. um. Yeah, I didn't expect it that much, and then it was my first time at free market, so I was a little bit nervous, and then mm-hmm. um, I didn't know who will ca- come, and then may- um, maybe nobody <laughs> will come, so I was a little bit nervous, but um, everybody really liked it, and then <coughs> they were really interested um, about Inner Portrait, and I had really good experience, so mm. good time de- then, so that made me to mm, keep my inner portrait mm-hmm. project go on because at the time I didn't know um, how long I'm gonna I'm gonna do the inner portrait because it was one of my projects so yeah so I see yeah, that's and very nice um, yeah. it, that's a really nice place to do drawing mm. too yeah. especially in the spring and mm-hmm. s- in summertime um, but what was the the most interesting place you mm-hmm. ever did inner portrait um, because you know the atmosphere also really influences, yeah, right? Yeah, it's really different. Um, um, my favorite place is Hong Hongdae Uni- uh, Hong Free Market. That in that mm-hmm. place, because many people um, who is interested in art comes 
to Hongdae in right. Korea. Mm -hmm. So they are um, really interest uh, have interest about the art. So they they are very open minded to the mm -hmm. weird art like inner portrait. Right. <laughs> so that's my favorite place. But um, um, I think all new places influence me. I I love new places like. I've been to the um, army garrison. Mm -hmm. and there, there is Yongsan um, in Yongsan. There, there. Um, I've never been into the army garrison before, but um, somebody who, um, who um, her her wife, uh, her uh, her husband yeah. was uh, um, serving for army. Mm -hmm. So he uh, and then she said that the spouses of the army mm -hmm. um, have a meeting big meeting every month and then she Im um, invited me to the that event and then um, to draw in a portrait and then I go go there and then draw for them and it was really nice experience mm. to try and also been to the hospital right yeah it was <laughs> also interesting because yeah I don't know, but um, um, any place is good for me, and the mm. I yeah I tried once at the beach, and then wow. it was yeah also great. <laughs> that's, see, that's that's the thing. Like that's the great thing about doing any type of drawing like that. You can go anywhere you want. Yeah, you know that um, uh, artist likes new places and the new things. Yeah, yeah because it influences you. So mm -hmm. and you get the energy from that area, and then you start to influence mm. the place around mm. you too and yeah and as you said that it's right that the, and from the place to place is different mm -hmm. the atmosphere is different so when i once i tried in a portrait at the street mm -hmm. and then there at the street near near the church right. and then the, i didn't know then but it was after the time that the um you know Yebe, Yebe Shiban, church, what is this? Church time? Church time, yeah, okay. after the church time, and then the, the many people came from, uh, from uh, came out, mm -hmm. and then um, it was mostly older people, mm -hmm. and then the, it was also a good experience because at free market, there is usually, there's many um, 20s or 30s um, th in, in their age, mm -hmm. and then the, there, there was 60s or 50s, mm -hmm. over, yeah, and then, and then the, Word they are word that represent themselves was different mm -hmm. and then the and more um, mm, what is yoyu itta yoyu itta <laughs> oh, it's too hard to <laughs> explain what a it word um, yoyu itta <laughs> um have um very generous mm -hmm. minded and okay. then they have time to um have many time to think about themselves the mm -hmm. word was more yoyu Yoyu ita. For those people who don't speak Korean, I'm pretty sure you have the idea of what yoyu ita means in this mm. context. We will learn one day. Also, uh, when you're doing places, for example, in uh, the Yongsan garrison, the army mm -hmm. base, mm -hmm. what was that experience like? Because um, it, the, f the atmosphere is very different mm -hmm. from the rest of Korea. Mm -hmm. It's like an inside place mm -hmm. where it's maybe it feels more Western than mm. other places, right? Yeah. So, what what was your experience when you were inside there? Um, Did you feel like you were in a movie? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> when I do inner portrait, I, I always feel like that because. <laughs> oh, really? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, because um, I have permission to talk with anybody wh who comes to me. Mm -hmm. So that's that feels feels like, yeah, you know, movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the one um, I have a one friend. Um, I made from inner portrait mm -hmm. and then sh her name is Paula and then she told me that um, um, if you have um, trouble in your life and you think about um, and you have to choose one road mm -hmm. uh, among the um, among many road and then just think about um, you are in a movie okay that you are a hero heroine you're the, you're mm. the hero heroine, yeah mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. And then the um, what um, what road would you take to make your movie very interesting? Mm -hmm. And then that is the right road. That's the right road. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then cool. the I think in 
doing inner portrait is like that and I don't know why I keep on doing this but it makes my life like a movie and very mm -hmm. alive mm -hmm. but, but do you think you can ever stop doing it? Mm, um, maybe someday but I, I think I will keep doing this um, but I think not that fr frequently like mm. these days but I really like the format of the inner portrait because um, like play uh, like different places influence you right like um, in the inner portrait like um, the format is different people comes influence you mm -hmm. so I think I I I won't stop maybe <laughs> yeah maybe I I won't doing this this frequently but mm -hmm. I think I will keep on doing it so um where where do you see your inner portrait going towards now what what is the the journey for for that I mean mm -hmm. do you see like a, a bigger more bigger image um, yeah more ambitious idea mm, actually at first time I as I told I was just want to communicate with many people but mm -hmm. as I doing this um, I feel um, um, I, I'm giving people time in the seat or think about themselves and so I mm -hmm. think that's the big picture of inner portrait mm -hmm. that, that gives people um, to think about themselves time to think about themselves time and to think yeah, and reflect yeah, and yeah stuff. so so people um, um, getting happier and then um, getting know about themselves mm -hmm. more and mm -hmm. more and and if inner portrait could influence them like that i i think um mm. it is definitely amazing. Oh, you're living your life like a movie <laughs> you too uh I i've I heard that you traveled a lot and uh, sorry that's okay <gasps> oh we're back <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We forgive you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess uh, I, I I find that very interesting what you said because, um, for example, do you know Joseph Campbell? Mm -hmm. Joseph Campbell, you know he um, he wrote the the book about um, a thousand faces of a hero, mm -hmm. and he talks about um, symbolism and about the stages of the hero's journey. Mm -hmm. So, for example, every time when you watch a movie. It only shows the points, the specific points of uh, of uh, the character that changes their life into becoming the hero mm -hmm. or not the hero at mm -hmm. the end. So, um, yeah, it's like uh, every time you, you go out somewhere, you have this one test. And, you know, for example, in the beginning, you have like uh, the catalyst. And the catalyst is what begins everything, mm -hmm. right? And then... After that, later on, there can be the point of no return. Mm -hmm. It's like once you go through this path, mm. you can never go back, mm. right? And then uh, later on, you can have um, you meet the mentor, you meet someone who can help you, mm -hmm. or afterwards you can um, have a showdown, mm -hmm. fighting against the enemy. It could be yourself, it could be someone else, it could be nature, and then um, la later on, it could be like master of two worlds. Mm. You understand mm. everything, so. Uh, what's really interesting is mm -hmm. um, uh, how I've been, I think we talked about this before, but um, I, how I view caricature now mm -hmm. is I, I'm trying to draw people, mm -hmm. but I want to kind of push it more in um, finding the homunculus. Remember we talked about that? Homunculus. Homunculus. Uh, yeah, so for, for people yeah. who don't know, homunculus, you can ty type it on Google. It's um, basically a long time ago, like a lot of alchemists, they tried to make, you know, ob gold out of, you know, everyday common objects or just elements, the master of alchemy. And there was a time where they tried to make um, people out of regular things, maybe like um, a handful of teeth, some hair, some sperm and some other weird things. And they put it into the ground, they bury it and they wait for something to grow, which of course nothing does, right? Maybe fruit flies, but that's it. And then afterwards, mm -hmm. that concept of uh, homunculus, which means little man, it starts changing into the psychology of um, who you are inside. Mm 
mm. right? So we look human, you know, you look like a girl, I look like a guy, we look a little bit Korean, we have a little bit of differences, but if we were, if our bodies um, grew and changed mm -hmm. based on how our personality is, mm -hmm. we would look very different, mm. you know? So um, people, for example, who are really sensitive to visual things their eyes would get bigger mm -hmm. people who like like to touch things their hands would be really really big mm -hmm. you know people who never listen their eyes would get very small mm -hmm. but then it would become more complicated because um people would um look some one person would look like a tree or one person would look like a like, kind of like half giraffe half robot or something because everyone is very complicated mm -hmm. you know there's a there's a really good manhwa Mm. A, a, a Japanese comic called Homunculus, mm. and uh, it's about it was one of my favorite comics I've ever read. Blow my mind, but uh, <laughs> it was about this one guy who he was homeless mm -hmm. and he was living in his car. Mm. He just lost his job and he parked the car in the be between the park where mm -hmm. all the homeless people lived mm -hmm. in Japan, and on the other side of the street was this really really big big um, skyrise building. Mm. That's where he used to work mm -hmm. and. and go to the hotels and stuff mm -hmm. so he just parked in the middle because mm -hmm. he had no job but he didn't want to be living with the homeless people mm -hmm. and one day there was this one guy who came up to him you know he has like leather jacket a lot of piercings blonde hair and he says you know I've been watching you and I know you were in a bad situation so I want to make a deal with you mm -hmm. if uh, I will give you like ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars if you let me mm -hmm. um, drill a hole mm -hmm. into your head, like Ooh. right there, for $10,000. <laughs> oh. So uh, the guy's like... That, that'll make him die. N no, it doesn't. <gasps> no? No, it doesn't. And uh, I'll explain why. Because that process mm -hmm. is called trepidation. Mm -hmm. uh, a long time ago, um, to cure people mm -hmm. of sch schizophrenia or mental illness, mm -hmm. they used to drill holes in their head mm -hmm. to kind of... Um, Cure. cure or to take out the demons at mm. that time or to, mm -hmm. to do different things mm -hmm. um, there is also a belief right that when you do trepidation the mm -hmm. drilling of the hole mm -hmm. it releases more blood into the brain right mm -hmm. because we have bone mm -hmm. around our brain mm -hmm. but when you're a baby you have no bone around mm -hmm. your head mm -hmm. so the experience of a baby mm -hmm. you know people want to have that kind of experience mm -hmm. when they're adults mm -hmm. and some people believe if you can get that experience you can have more abilities like psychic ability maybe you can see ghosts mm. maybe you can see different things but the guy's like no I don't want to do it so either way later on the situation he had mm -hmm. no choice mm -hmm. and then he said okay I have mm -hmm. to do it because I need the money mm -hmm. and then he got the drill into his head mm -hmm. and he's like so how do you feel because uh, I feel okay the same <laughs> And then they started doing many tests to see if he was psychic, like, mm -hmm. you know, how many cards, guess, can you feel any ghosts here or something. Nothing happened. And then one day he was walking down the street, mm -hmm. like right down Shinjuku, you know, downtown Japan area. And the wind came into his face and he was like, oh, he covered his eyes, like his one eye like this. And then he realized that by covering his left eye, mm -hmm. he can l see people for who they really are. Oh just by doing that 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 would release the oh. this this ability to, uh, to see people so then he would run I the first person he ran into mm -hmm. was like a yakuza guy <laughs> right mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. like he just spilled something mm -hmm. on him and he's like guys like takes out a knife mm -hmm. it's like i'm gonna cut mm -hmm. your pinky off mm -hmm. you're gonna be my my 50 second pinky oh, and then mm -hmm. he's looking at him at like this mm -hmm. and all he sees is this big um like gundam robot Oh. He, does, he can't see that you could he only sees that but inside the Gundam robot mm -hmm. he sees a little boy mm -hmm. like 10 years old and he's like crying mm -hmm. he's like crying crying and he's locked inside this mm -hmm. robot and he has like a like a sickle you know mm -hmm. in the farm and you cut with that oh. kind of knife and he's trying to cut his finger oh. and he's looking and he, he's just seeing this boy doing this and he's like don't cut your pinky oh. stop stop and then the Yakuza guy's like what 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 the fuck are you talking about blah 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 <laughs> and then oh. he starts to break down and cry the Yakuza mm. and he's like what did you do to me and mm. then later on he finds him and he tries to cure him mm. and then later on 
he somehow helps the man mm -hmm. make a confession about how he hurt his friend when he was very very small mm. they were in the f in the farm and they were just cutting and he cut his friend's pinky oh. and he felt so guilty he ran away and since then he went to the wrong path mm. and he became yakuza a very mm -hmm. hard guy mm -hmm. but after he had that kind of relief that mm -hmm. catharsis he when he looked at him like this again mm -hmm. he looked who he was he was not a robot anymore mm. he was just who he was supposed to be so oh. it's a, it's a really good book I, yeah. you know i really recommend it like that's only the first what's the title of homunculus. homunculus i have it here maybe ah. can, i have the korean version mm -hmm. you can check out mm. and um it's that's that's how i think of caricature when i first got into mm. it it's like you look at a person you see them you see their face but it's something a little bit more you're looking more deeper into what you something you know that's inside that not everyone can see and that's why how I feel about what you're doing you're doing a different version of looking at mm -hmm. the people's uh, homunculus looking inside their inner portrait you know the inner side of themselves so yeah that's all I have to say about that <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways let's uh do you want to check out one more thing here we're going to check out a, a, f a few more pictures from her site okay. uh what is this one here um that one is um army garrison yes. inside of army garrison wow. there was hotel mm -hmm. and then the inside of hotel there was party mm -hmm. and then i was yeah there's little girl <laughs> um sometimes um little little girl or boy things i would um i suggest them um the draw together in their inner portrait that's great because yeah so do so people do people also draw your inner portraits as well um, no. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's very good. So this lady right here, what was her inner portrait? Um, um, actually, I, not, I can't tell. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my God. Don't worry, she sorry. remembers. <laughs> what about this one? Um, this one is, I, I don't, um, I don't think, uh, I don't come up with the word, but it was, um, she cares people, and mm -hmm. then the, and it makes her very happy. Mm -hmm. So there is two people mm -hmm. hugging together that uh -huh. makes big smile together. Wow, very cool. <laughs> wow, she's a very she's a cutie pie. <laughs> she's so cute. It's just she's hard drawing, mm -hmm. not mine. Very yeah, cool. and then I made many friends. Um, it's um, you know that <gasps> in Korea. Jo. I know her. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. She's an artist. Too. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Just she uh, she was used to be one of my students. Oh, really? Yeah, and and that. that was um, for her um, for her daughter. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. She uh, she drew her inner portrait, and then she said she told me that she will send it to her daughter. Oh, mm -hmm. that's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of one of the interesting is you know that in free market also and that in arm in army garrison there mm -hmm. is um, people from other world other country mm -hmm. and then that I'm in one spot and then sitting just one spot that people from another country comes to me and yeah. it feels like um, I'm traveling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. are mine and it feels really awesome yeah meeting new people feels like traveling yeah Wow. So, how many do you think you you made over there? Um, how many portraits altogether? Altogether, um, I pardon me. Uh, how many portraits did you make uh, that day? At uh, that day, yeah. um, I think just um, not that many. Uh, maybe ten. Ten, two, ten. Mm -hmm. Oh, these ones here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and more. Yeah. So, um, at first time, I drew very simple, just a line drawing. Mm -hmm. So, some t um, at one day and. At first time, like seventy or, but these days I draw very slowly, so mm -hmm. just ten to twenty. Ten to twenty minutes mm -hmm. per person. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Ten to twenty um, pictures per day. Oh, per day! Mm -hmm. Wow, that's mm -hmm. a lot too. Wow. Yeah, and again, you know, mm -hmm. like the all of these are completely different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're always completely different, different colors, different um, style, and different. It type should of be mm -hmm. because it's different people. And yeah. Then Th that's that's what I find so amazing about it. It's just always something completely different based on you know what people give the information to you. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. And, and the the bl below one, the this, uh, this uh, yeah that, that one, one is I I remember that is free freedom or free, 
and then that's my girl yeah and there is people three people uh, standing yeah. and then she she thought herself as very free and that she's a little bit old a little bit special mm-hmm. and then she didn't want um very r- uh, things routine mm-hmm. and then she is crossing the regular people and then she is um, growing very freely freely uh-huh. not just very cool straight. wow so um uh, yeah so when when you when you meet mm-hmm. people th- have you has anyone else started doing inner poetry too um p- pardon me has yeah, after uh, anyone? has anyone else after? been doing inner poetry as well after i don't know yet i i don't think yet there is i don't know who who um i don't know yeah, i think you're the only ones so <laughs> <still. laughs> yeah, very unique very cool you know what? Actually, we've been going for over one hour. Oh, already? Oh, already? Yeah, wow. it's been a long time, wow. right? So, uh, how about w- we leave it at that? But um, mm-hmm. before we go, how mm-hmm. about is there anything you want to let people know about anything you're working on or where they can see you next? Mm. You know, uh, some information you want to let them know. Mm. Um, if you are interested in my work or want to see my work more, um, as you said, www.chosunyoung.com. Yeah. And um, what about your your books as well? Um, book. Um, How can people order any of your ah, books? Uh, you can order I- by uh, on the internet um, at my homepage also. Okay. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Mm-hmm. If you have any questions, just email me. Um, that is also on my homepage mm-hmm. at the addresses. So. Very cool. And do you have any other upcoming events you want to ah, do? Um, next week, seventh, 17th to 18th, mm-hmm. there is um unlimited edition called, um, it is Independent Book and Magazine Festival. Mm-hmm. And then it is, um, it's going to be held at near Hongdae. Oh. Uh-huh. And at the cafe called Muderyuk. And then the all all sell sellers who makes I- independent book comes to get gets together and then have have a fair and then I will participate there. So come and see me and <laughs> Yes. So that's uh next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. Saturday, Sunday. Mm-hmm. So Saturday, Sunday, you know, come and visit Sonyangshi, aka in a portrait artist. And what <laughs> is the name of the cafe? Cafe Mudeo. Mm-hmm. We can probably put that information later on on mm-hmm. this uh, on this podcast, and then let people know about it and stuff. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you, thank you for coming. Thank I really had a really me. good time. I was really hoping that we could finally meet and just talk about it and just let people know about what you're doing because I think it's I think it's really really cool and oh. it's very original. And um, I, I'm happy that we work together oh. to, to see what you were doing. Thank you. I'm really happy. <laughs> We're both happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching this. <laughs> <laughs> we are all happy. Thank you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyways, for people out there, remember to like our page on f- Facebook. It's uh, www.facebook.com/backslash/myartistjourney, and just hit like, and then you can get daily posts of inspirational links, pictures, memes, uh, and updates on the next interviews that we're gonna have. Um, coming soon, we're going to do some uh, upcoming podcast interviews. Hopefully, I'm going to get some people as a post 48 hour session. So, all uh, yesterday I went to the uh, award ceremony for the 48 hour film festival. Mm. It was uh, very interesting. I had some technical difficulties in the beginning, but later on it went okay. And there were some really, really great films mm. done in only two days. It was amazing. Mm. So I hope to get some people back here and some new people and just talk about what it was like and stay tuned for that. So remember, just like the Facebook page. Also, Sun Young's website again is www.chosunyoung.com. I'm going to post it on here. You guys can check it out. And remember to be happy. And you have any words or advice you can give to people out there as a last message? Mm, be happy. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so always remember, be happy, and thank you very much, guys, and have a great night. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, let's close it.